Hey, welcome to our garden. My name is Debbie Kong and I'm an urban gardener, master gardener and a garden educator. And we want to show you our garden and hope that you'll learn some things that, that we've learned. And um, we love doing this. Watermelons so. really take up a lot of space. So what we're doing here is vertical gardening. So what we're doing is taking two five gallon buckets and making it a homemade earth box. And what happens is you have two gallons, two five gallon buckets, holes in the bottom with a capillary, and then we have a tube for watering. What we've done is just made this inexpensive fence here, and all the um, vines are just gonna go straight up, and we're gonna get um, some pretty good watermelons coming in the next few months, so we're really excited about that. But what's neat about it is that we are trying to grow the most amount of food in the smallest amount of space. Okay, next what we have here are some um, chard, as you can see. This is chard, more rainbow colored chard. And what's nice about this is that this will actually last pretty much most of the season. You just keep cutting it back and just keep letting it grow. Here is some arugula. I uh, grow some things for my friends who don't have gardens. And this is wild arugula. We also have some karabi here, which is amazing that it's still here. It's really huge if you can see it. It's really wonderful there. It's ready to pick soon. And let me take you on a tour down this way. We've got some um, zinnias and some borage and some nasturtiums. The nasturtiums are actually used to keep away the um, rabbits and, because they don't like them. Again, we have some more watermelons. And again, we're going to put up another tall fence up here. This is really wonderful. This is Amish deer tongue. And it is a cut and come lettuce. And what we keep doing is just pulling the leaves from the bottom. And it's just keeping going here. Pretty soon it's going to bolt, which means it's going to go to seed and we'll hopefully collect those seeds and then save them for next year. Again, we have some more watermelons here and uh, some Chinese vegetables and again, some more nasturtiums. Then over here, we are growing some wonderful big watermelons. These are moon star watermelons. Notice the different kinds of leaves here. And this is grown in a uh, another similar kind of earth box called a um, uh, well, it's a wide one here, and uh, these are called city pickers. You can actually buy these at different store, large, the big box stores. And this is just going to trellis actually on the floor, or rather just grow straight on the floor. It's going to take up all the space here, and these are quite large watermelons. 